Hi, this is Tom from WTFFF 3D Printing Podcast and 3dstartpoint.com. This is the fourth and final installation in my video series about the review for the Ro CEL Robox Dual 3D Printer. Um, so as promised, I'm coming back to share with you uh, some prints. I'm actually letting this print here while I'm talking and it's kind of hard to see what's there because it's actually black. Didn't think about that before I started the print. But I'm printing uh, flexible material with this printer and uh, I've printed a few things in flexible material and proved that it, it works quite well. So uh, I'm, I continue to be impressed with this 3D printer, but I want to show you a few things that I've been printing. And um, I've got a, a couple of, this is a USB flash drive, two color USB flash drive that, uh, you know, I've made it obviously a lot bigger than it needs to be to display this logo. But you can see that actually I've got two color printing of shapes and text. And this printed the first shot right out of, you know, loading two colors and loading a model with two, uh, with two different, you know, STL files to create one multicolor print. And I've also done some other ones here, um, you know, with some different materials, sometimes some translucent and... Uh, or actually, this was one of the very the very first print that you saw me in a previous video that I was um, setting up. This was the very first print, and it came off that printer in the first attempt, flawless. And I was really impressed. This was using materials that came with the printer, and then very quickly after that, I started working with all kinds of different materials. Here's one of my favorite objects that I want to show you. This is actually, uh, if you all remember the episode where uh, we talked about the wedding favors that we created for our daughter's wedding um, the last summer, uh, this was now, uh, I created a two color version of this essentially floral like shape that's the top of a woman's bracelet, party favor from the wedding. And uh, I used two different translucent materials, one sort of a nice blue color and one red. And I, I didn't have to do anything special. Loaded the material, printed it, and it came out with no bleeding, no problems. It was really impressive how this machine handles the two colors and two materials. And then um, this one I stopped intentionally halfway through. Um, is just a, a flexible material version of one of our angels. And um, it, again, two color, one color, doesn't matter. This it, it printed incredibly well. Um, and then there's a sort of a PLA version of this two color. Uh, one of our angels, you've seen this print a lot of times before, but just thought we would have fun doing it in two color. Uh, so really, it, it's been a great experience. We've spent a ton of time working with this 3D printer. Um, and overall the experience has been tremendous. Um, there is, um, if you're watching this, you've probably already seen, uh, been on the blog post at 3dstartpoint.com, but just in case you're seeing this on YouTube and you have not, go to 3dstartpoint.com to see the blog post for this CEL Robox Dual 3D Printer Review. It's a lot more technical information and details there, um, but it, it's been an overall great experience. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks so much, and uh, we'll see you for the next review.